What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we got Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 2. This one is Hidden Inventory. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut version of this episode, as well as early access and the exclusive reactions and the polls over on Patreon, check that out. Links are in the top of the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel and follow all social medias. Like I said, links for everything are down below. Let's hop right into today's episode. I am super excited. All right, starting off with some coffee. Now, I'm not much of a coffee drinker myself. Oh, it's tea. That's just some hot water. Excuse me. I stand corrected. Little sugar cube in there. Oh, is this post battle? We're just chilling making tea? Is that how this is going down? So the guy who was in charge of attacking us last episode. Fire, son. Q's strongest combatant. Is that, is that a... Yeah, is this oh that's the guy with the knives and Gojo beyond fucked him up. Departure of top combatant buyer leads to organization's collapse. Bye bye Q. Okay. Is this did he not show up to the fight? Getting more money? I very much so recognize his voice actor. So that's what we're doing with Q. Use the entire deposit to wear down Gojo, and then he's going to swoop in and do some sort of... And he lost, I'm assuming. Yep. Sorcerer killer. Okay, I don't want to pause it because everyone's been having the discussion. Who is this Fushigoro? Which you guys reminded me in the comments that uh, Megumi's sister is his stepsister. And so him last episode said he took his wife's name of Fushiguro, who I'm assuming upon the departure of the Zenin clan is Megumi's father. I'd have to assume. I'd have to assume based off that conversation. And then he just left Megumi, abandoned him, right? With his stepsister, Su... I have, to, uh, I have to go back to my notes page. I, you know, this is all getting all crazy on me. So that's why Shoko's a healer, aka doctor. She can use that reverse curse energy to heal. I am a little upset we didn't get to see the fight last episode, but hey, they handled with it, you know, they dealt with it. We're saving you, Missy. We do eventually want to take over your body, but... Kuroi. Yeah. Lend him a... Lend him a curse. I like how the curse is liking the petting. Okay, so she's cool with this. <laughs> they really don't care. Yeah, aren't you about to be assimilated? I'm not sure school's important right now. I wonder if that has I wonder if it has anything to do with the assimilation that she needs to feel feel like we're doing what she wants, like, like fulfilled. I don't know. I'm very curious. I guess just putting it into that perspective, we could just be doing it to be considerate, you know? Why not? She is essentially going to give up her entire life. Okay. Shout out you guys being considerate. Gojo a little less patient than Ghetto, but I'm really liking Ghetto right now. I see. That's where Kuroi is involved. You are her family. You like that. We can't. I do know when she was using her crows, right? That is so cool that Meimei can do that. Oh. That is an indicator of something going on, though. So he's paying that all out, the deposit. Yeah. 
What did he just say? He's the first in several centuries to possess both the six eyes and the we knew about limitless. Do we always know about six eyes? Not even you. Mr. Sorcerer Killer. I like how he doesn't answer that question. Good point. No one's gonna be able to claim that bounty. So just to get this straight, he got paid a deposit by Q to kidnap uh, Rico or kill. I'm assuming kill because they don't want the Tengen Sama assimilation to happen. So in order to best deal with Gojo, who's protecting her, he put the entire deposit they gave him as an open rushed time bounty for anyone to deal with her. And so they're all going to do that knowing they're all going to fail because it's Gojo, but at least wear him down a little bit so he can swoop up, not have to pay that deposit to any of the bounty hunters who got it and kill Gojo, fulfilling his job contract to whoever paid him. Damn. Surprisingly, like, I'm not surprisingly smart, but I like the plan. Didn't even finish his takoyaki. He's on the move. Things are developing faster than he expected, like he said. What up, old man? Hey, I like the quick thinking. I like the observative analysis that he can control actual. Yeah. Whereas his or Shikigami, he spawned them or summoned them, you know? I like the mental mind games going on right now. And I love the way they're framing the background like panels of a manga, you know? That's the same with Megumi's weakness, or at least it was. Which is your typical Shikigami mindset, you know? I'm liking the mental games going on right now, the chess! It's big enough to take up the entire hallway. Oh no, he's a quick old man! What is that dog? What is that cut to it? What? <laughs> his life was flashing before his eyes before he died. He gave him that one two combo piece? What the? What the? Sounds like the chapel, like a, a choir going on right now, a church choir. Oh, now they're all... That's not what I was expecting to happen. Oh, you don't... Oh, no. You swoon... Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. It's over. What a lively school. Ooh, Kuroi? Ooh, you feeling like my girl coming in with the mop? Ooh, going in under. Ooh, loving the shots? Right to the fucking cojones. Who is she? Oh, shout out Ghetto helping out. I thought that was her doing that. He can make shadow clones. Get over here. Clones. Each one is the real one. Okay, let's put her in the air, protect her while we can, use our limitless. Infinity. And he can change which one's the main. 
That's cool. He has the six eyes. Mm, now I'll start. Mm. Infinity. Which makes me wonder, because, and I don't know if it's a thing that was developed after he graduated, which would totally make sense because he's an adult, he gets way stronger as Gojo, but he, I'm sure, I think, I can't be certain in the present time, like in our current JJK season, it was automatic on some Gara sand type shit where you can't hit him no matter what you do. But here, it seems to be he actively using it. Only reason I say that is because, what's her name? Uh, Rico just slapped the fuck out of him just a little bit ago. So I'm very curious, you know? I'm very curious about that. I love the little details. Which just goes to show the level of expertise and power that he, you know, he wields is insane. What up, buddy? The Divergence of Infinity. Reverse Curse Technique. Red. Oh, we've seen this before. Never up close in what it does to a body. Oh, it's like one of those... I was going to say it's one of those Joker, like, bang guns, you know? He's like, just kidding. I love the way they set that up, though. I am most definitely going to rewatch that and take close attention during editing. Oh, he couldn't even... He tried to, really? Oh, well, that means Gojo in the future is crazy developed. What, kidnapped? Oh, damn. I like her. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the end of the episode? That was like five minutes long. One thing I love about JJK, and it's probably the reason I fell in love with Hunter x Hunter, it's my favorite shonen of all time, is because even though they do explain stuff, they feel like they don't need to hold your hand. Like they are saying, hey, if you need to rewatch it, rewatch it, or, you know, like a tackle, like there are certain shows that just don't hold your hand. And when it comes to the mid fighting analysis of Ghetto and the old man, I love that. I love even how they visualized it with the background panels, stuff like that. But when it comes to these curse techniques and the limits of them and fighting others, it's very reminiscent of Hunter x Hunter to me where it's not necessarily who's stronger, more who knows their power the other person's power and how it adapts in this current situation better adapting is a huge thing and ghetto or not ghetto gojo's six eyes i'm assuming which helps him tell the techniques of others very key uh factor in him being as op as we know it like this that was it's such a good episode and then i need to know what's going on with mr fushiguro mr x zenin with me oh my god i need to know what's going on i hope kuroi ends up being okay knowing this show they might kill her i need to know what's going on with rico in the future because this is all at the end of the day a flashback i need to see everything and this is only episode two we have three more episodes of this arc i cannot wait i'm very excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section like i said check out that patreon for the full uncuts as well as early access to the other shows exclusive reactions and you guys can vote in the polls on what I watch next. Other than that, I appreciate y'all immensely. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.